Hey Joe, Paul McLean here at Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. Thank you so much for your time today, appreciate it. Let's see if I can get all three campers in on one video for you. I'm standing on the roof of the new one. The new grand designed 320 MKS. And I, got, I have one of these uh, at the North store and get to you for your price point. Otherwise, the rest of them are about five grand more than what you want to spend. This is at the high end. Um, three slides, king bed in this one, which is kind of what you want. We're, we're going to also look at that reflection way down there. That's the one for 40 grand brand or used 2019. And then that Montana over there, we're going to get to as well. But this is the new one. This is the uh, 320 MKS with the desk. Fully walkable roof, R40 insulation factor on this and the front cap. 50 amp camper, two ACs, even the slide outs are walkable, standable, sweepable, etc. 300 watts of solar, which is wired into your fridge, lights, radio, awning, etc. Your digital antenna is a wine guard for your local TV stations and radio stations. You can see how Grand Design kind of overdoes all the caulking. As we discussed, um, water is the kryptonite to these things, so the better sealed they are, the better. 18-year warranty on this roof. I'm going to jump off this, and we will look at the floor plan of it. I'm going to try to, like I say, get all three of these. We're Crestview RV, Buta, Texas. Let's get downstairs. All right, Joe, here we are at the uh, 320 MKS R7 insulation factor on the walls, R30 on the heated and closed underbelly with heated tanks. Two awnings, I've got them out as far as I could here. Outside speakers, you'll have an LED light switch uh, or light strip on both. You can turn on or off. Plenty of basement storage. And this is the one that has both the TV. This TV is the same size on this one and the used one, uh, Joe. And also you have a little outside kitchen as well with a two burner stove. And a mini fridge. All residing underneath your awning. These will also have a hitch that you can put a bike tray on here, a bike rack, generator tray, what have you. Uh, this is a spray port with that blue hose that we saw. And then uh, it's wired for a backup camera if you want one as well. Interior wise, this is one we liked. Couch makes into a bed. Recliners directly across from your fireplace and Roku smart television. Assume the position. Solid surface cabinetry, great big pantry here. That refrigerator will run from your solar panel. It's a residential type refrigerator, 30 inch microwave. Chandelier. Flush mounted floor on the slide out here. You can't even tell where that starts and ends, which is great. Freestanding table and chairs that you can make into a two top instead of a four top just by sliding this ottoman over there by your couch. And then that backing pops off. You can put one chair on either side. Here's your desk with 110 and USB. More 110 up above here as well. And your light switch. Two windows. That's a new feature for this year. They added a second window on this, which is nice. Which is nice. Plenty of counter space. Beautiful fridge, which is on. I don't know if you can see that or not. If there is water in here, the ice. So out here in the middle of nowhere, on and running. That's via that solar panel we saw up on top. Big advantage, in my opinion. No heating vents in the floor. Plenty of storage. Some above your recliners, a lot above the couch, which again makes into a bed. More storage above your desk. And then pantry galore. DVD player, which will play movies straight to your television for you. And then AM, FM, of course, 
for inside outside speakers played separately or simultaneously porcelain toilet on your bathroom with a glass enclosed shower it's a one-piece molded shower with a bench so no harm no foul there porcelain toilets no plastic lots of space wow tons of space for towels medicine cabinet more storage and three drawers beyond that instant hot water heater Joe I don't think I talked about that but this has got the Furion tankless water heater you set whatever temperature you want and that's what you get this will have a king bed with your second air conditioner and whenever you get the slide out this way east west instead of north south you get the big closet here in addition if you wanted a washer dryer it'd be dryer there washer there and then you have a place for a television in the bedroom and your standard dresser drawers and more storage storage under the bed as well windows on each side of the bed so a good breeze there and some natural light lots of storage under the bed that's pretty much the brand new 320 MKS let's go take a look at the 2019 40 50 60 70 30 thousand dollar less version remember Joe we've got the RV park here on site and so even if you do choose the used one and save some money we'll have you spend the night overnight instead of the orientation class being just a blank parking lot and you're just hoping everything works it'll be at the RV park with everything on and working so you can test it all out thoroughly that way when you get set up at home you'll have no surprises that you have to bring it back for that's a great big advantage I actually have another video of this I should send you instead of doing that I think I will I took well heck we're here let's do it it's a little bit different color they kind of had a cream color that year instead of white white but you'll have the same outside kitchen and the same television same basement storage same two awnings difference will be no solar panel but you can add that and a what they call an RV fridge which runs on both propane and electricity so that's the same Joe still have the hitch in the back same roof less the solar panel and then this is going to have kind of a darker interior with a missing table if you remember finally so dark I don't have any lights I should have hooked some power up to this same couch in the back It'll make into a bed. This is going to be whatever you put there, recliners or whatnot. Freestanding table and chairs. This table will disappear by removing four screws there if you needed that area or that whole area for a desk or whatever you could. But this one comes with a desk in the back here. Same cubic feet on the refrigerator, just a different style. Microwave, kitchen's the same, pantry's the same, TV is not a Roku back then, so just a regular TCL, fireplace is the same, 50 amp, two ACs is the same, bathroom is identical, and this is the one with a queen bed, but we could swap that out to a king for you everything else is the same oh this one already has a TV in the bedroom so you can see what that looks like kind of sorta so this is the slightly under 40 grand 2019 versus the 70 grand 
2022. And then lastly will be the Montana, which is right in between the two, price-wise. And it's used a 20 something. Let's go find out. And your better half can watch the, this video and kind of see what she thinks. They all have one touch leveling. This one's going to be the largest because it's a wide body, full profile. We talked about that. I know the people that traded this in. You already have side cameras and backup cameras on this one. There's no outside kitchen, but you could, for 300 bucks across the street at Cabela's, you could build your own outside kitchen. This is the 3120RL. What year? Where is it? Yeah, 2021. A little, a little bit more basement storage because it's a full profile. This has a lighter interior as well. Again, I should have put more lights on, but there's some lights on here. The biggest refrigerator of the three. That's a GE basement freezer. Um, three burner stove, standard oven, solid surface countertops, 30 inch regular. That might be a convection. Uh, a wider three cushion couch instead of two cushion because this is a wide body again, which will make into a bed. You got 110 and USB on the side there for you. And electric recliners instead of manual. You've got all the blackout shades. This one will have a ceiling fan and the quiet cool ACs might be a little bit quieter, but the ones in the grand design are certainly super quiet as well a wine rack that should be enough to make you buy this right away really pretty island i'll bet there's accent lights in there don't hold me to it but i bet there should be accent lights in there uh, there will be accent lights underneath uh, your recliners i do believe pantry really nice backsplash there for you pretty pretty yeah, this is a pretty camper. I like the ceilings. The lighter ceiling really opens it up. Here's your pantry. Super deep motion sensor light in there for you. Central vacuuming. Kind of the same bathroom in both. Or all three. One piece molded. This is a little bit different because you have a handle here. Everything else pretty much the same. Bedroom, king bed, great mattress. That's a pretty camper. And that's where your washer dryer would live if you decided to get one, Joe. Clothes hamper. Man, I need one of those. And a nice big closet with a 110 in there for you TV's already set up and your dresser drawers I like the mattress so there you have it one two or three a B or C they all have their pros and cons best bang for the buck is that middle one we looked at but this is a rare super clean 2021 well within your budget and then if you wanted to top out your budget that would be that new 320 that we started out on so there you go 406-696-4750 406-696-4750 montana number missing that today buta texas location right by cabela's exit 220 to tall paul let's go camping